back, I'm Julie, and I'm here to do not a reaction video, but rather just talk to you guys about a recent interview that Marlene King did with Entertainment Tonight. And she was with Sasha Peterson, and this is a new kind of show that uh, Lena Aguilera, she's doing with uh, Christine, I don't remember her last name, but I will link uh, their Twitters on the description below. Uh, it's a fantastic way to recap the show. They have really good theories about the show, what's going to happen. Sometimes they get exclusive interviews with uh, the cast and creators of the show. So it's a really good show to watch. Like I said, if you want to watch the full interview, link will be in the description below. But right now I wanted to do something a little bit different, like talk about a specific point that Marlene touched during this interview. I have actually watched the interview like three times already because I wanted to get everything that they were saying and this is my interpretation of things that Marlene said during the interview. I'm not counting a lot of what Sasha said because Sasha is still under contract. She's not allowed to say a lot of things. Not like Marlene who it has a lot more leverage to say things and to make things right for... Uh, like say things that are not gonna get her in trouble, I guess, in my opinion. The uh, thing is that Marlene said a really a lot of things that were kind of like... get got me worried, to be honest. One uh, is because uh, one of the things was that really shocked me and something that I was kind of expecting is the fact that there are two things on the show, specifically they, they she talked. One was the fact, I don't know if you guys remember, back in season three, I think, uh, Allison was supposed to be in a sleepover with the Spencer. She got out and she came back and she had a, a bloody lip. When Veronica Hastings confront her, she was just, Allison didn't want to talk about it. She just wanted to go back and sleep and she didn't want to talk about what happened that night. That was what Veronica was worried about because she thought Spencer was going to the same route and that she might end up dead and all that. So when they ask Marlene who was the one who gave Ali the bloody lip, Marlene asked, and that this is something that she has repeated, I think, during the entire show, is that when she wrote that scene with the writers uh, that she had at that time, they didn't specify who did it. They gave her the bloody lip, but they didn't say, oh, it was Melissa, it was Ian, it was this person or that person who did it, which means that if they could have write that, that will mean that by some point during the future we will have known who gave Ali that bloody lip. Marlene just said during the interview that she, when they wrote it, they didn't put this specific person was the one who did it and for this reasons, she just said it was someone in that NAT club, one of the older people that Allison was messing with could have been Ian, could have been Rand, could it have been, you know, Melissa, we don't know. The writers and Marlene doesn't know either. They don't know, which sucks, because how many times we have to theorize about who could it be? A lot of people said it could have been Melissa. I thought it was Melissa. I thought it was maybe even Ian, uh, but hearing from Marlene, the creator of the show, that they worked without having a plan, it's something that you have seen repeat itself on the same on, on the storylines that we got. Storylines that had loose ends because they never thought who could it who that person be when they reveal in some point what happened in during one of the storylines. Another storyline like that is the one with the uh, scene where now we discovered on episode 719 that it was Emily's dream when we see at the end of season 5, I think, getting into season 6 or when we had the 5 year time jump uh, Marley, we see that the 4 girls coming into uh, Allison's classroom she's writing Mrs. Rollins and she knew by the time that uh, she was writing that scene that Rollins was going to end up dead so they didn't know who it was when the girls come in. You have to move it, Allie. 
we came back for you, so move it, and then it's too late. He is already here. We theorized during the entire time, the hiatus, who that he could have been. When she wrote, when Marlene wrote that scene that was added in the last minute, and it was, that scene was meant for us to see how the girls look in the fight time jump. It wasn't something that she wanted to reveal or anything. She didn't even know who was the he that they were referencing on the show. So, when the story started progressing and we kind of see, okay, this is not going to play off because Rollins is dead. Uh, Allison is already trying to divorce him and trying to annul that marriage and all that because she technically married Elliot. Rollins and it ended up being Archer Dunhill. So technically she's not a widow. So Marlene knew that, but she made that a scene and for us to believe, oh, who could it be, you know? And at the end of the day, they didn't even name that he. They didn't knew. And this is something that is kind of making me afraid of of a lot of things, a lot of loose ends that maybe will never be resolved because they never had an end game plan, you know? Now, one of the things that a lot of people seem concerned on the internet is because they want a tie between this final A, AD, and all the A's prior to this. You guys have to understand one thing. The story, since they didn't have a, a bigger plan, they didn't thought ahead, they always thought, okay, let's do one episode at a time and be revealing things like that. That's why the only story that makes sense is the original A story with Mona, and then the season reveal doesn't make sense, and now this possible reveal, it's not tied up to the entire storyline because they didn't have a bigger plan. They didn't plan the whole story. They just planned two or three seasons ahead, and that was it. And not even that. I'm being generous with the A, like like the big A CC storyline, because they didn't even plan that one. I still believe until this day that they had a different plan, but they maybe didn't get the actors they they want to play the characters, and they had to go with the CC Charles storyline. So. If they didn't have a plan for small scenes like this one, they didn't have a bigger plan to reveal everyone uh, as part of the AD team. So, one thing that Marlene also said during the interview is the fact that this last 10 episode is the only arc for us to understand and try to figure out who AD is. This AD probably is a character that has been going around during the entire seasons, but it doesn't mean that this character was AD since the beginning. I mean, just imagine if Melissa is AD at the end of season 7. Okay, Melissa was a is AD and she became AD after Cece was killed. Cece Charlotte was killed. Prior to that, Melissa has had no involvement with the A or AD team. She began being AD and stole the game from Charlotte when Charlotte got murdered. That is what Marlene has said. Because the only tie that we have for, for the AD reveal is the last 10 episodes. Because the girls on this show ask Marlene, do we have to go back to any seasons and rewatch any particular episode? Marlene said, no, you just have to rewatch the 10 last episodes. That's it. The 10 last episodes are the ones who tied everything up and give us the AD reveal. Which, if you know Marlene, you kind of understand why she's doing that. Because they didn't have a bigger plan, like I have said. Uh, so, this is a last minute thing to wrap everything up in a pretty little bow and give it to us. Which sucks. Yes, it sucks. But... Uh, what more can you ask in the last two episodes? Like, we have been asking for real questions, I mean, for real answers during the entire seven seasons. They haven't given us that. I feel like they gave us that up until the Mona reveal. After that, it was bullshit. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's it kind of is sad, but at the same time, it prepares you so you don't have to look back 
you know, every single chapter on A, like the A reveal, original A, that story and everything that happened prior to that ended with the original A reveal. After Mona was revealed, we have another arc, and then everything that happened during this arc was supposed to be ended with the CC Charlotte reveal. After that is what we have with the AD reveal. That character, like I said, might be a character that we have seen since season one. It doesn't mean that they were part of the AD team. What I will have loved if she, if Marlene has planned this ahead, she could have made AD always the 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 center of everything, you know, and then start revealing. Oh, we're gonna reveal the more like not the, the, the not so deadly A which was original A, but uh, Mona could have said, someone gave me the game, someone started me, and I did it everything by myself, but someone gave me the tools to do it. And then nobody will know who that person is until we reveal that Charlotte was the big A, and she gave the things to Mona. And after that, Cece could have said the same thing, Yes, but I didn't create the game. Someone else did it, and so I, I was working for someone else. And then we finally have the Uber A A D reveal that he was playing all along, and he was just giving opportunities to other people to get revenge on the girls, but they never wanted to do it until someone killed Charlie. But we never got that. Instead, it's the other way around. It was. Original A, then everyone who followed her stole the game from her. So it was, she's the one who created the game, then came Charlotte, stole the game from her, then came this AD, stole the game from her, and that's what we have been seeing during this entire seven seasons. Another thing that Marlene said that kind of ties up with what I just talked about is the fact that AD does have a team. So far, in my opinion, the only one that we know for sure is on the AD team is Jenna. And AD has been trying, I think that the reason why AD is AD is because they want to find out who ch girl killed Charlotte and ultimately have revenge on that person. Um, so the AD team was also f trying to find the motives and who killed Charlotte and we're chasing the same clues as the liars and they trying to get one step ahead. That's why we, when uh, we thought that Melissa would Melissa's suitcase was the murder weapon that almost got Emily killed. Uh, that's why AD was trying to follow Emily and why they wanted to make sure that was the murder weapon. Because they didn't know who uh, killed Charlotte. So AD also, Marlene said that there are other people trying to find out the identity of A. And this could tie it up with Melissa. Maybe Melissa was also trying to find out who AD was, maybe even Ren. I honestly don't think so because I think Ren and M Melissa are the ultimate AD team, in my opinion, uh, but I will talk about that later. She also confessed that Arya doesn't have a, a multiple personality disorder, now it's confirmed, she is just mini A with her mini breakdowns that she has sometimes and she talking to the dead body inside of the trunk. It was just her way to get things out and to process all the things that were happening in her life. Major clue that was also revealed is the fact that Jason, the actor who plays Jason, Drew Ben Acker, I think that's his name, uh, he's not going to be part of the finale. They couldn't get a hold on the actor, so he's not part of the finale, which means Jason is not AD, so we can cross that. Jason is not AD. Melissa, we know that she will be back alongside with Ren. She also said that the NIT club story and everything that happened with, with them is done. It's closed. That storyline is closed. That was back season one, even kind of season like with the CC reveal. But that said, there's no tie with the NIT club to the uh, NIT with the AD team. What the hell I'm talking about. When Marlene was asked how many weddings we will see, she didn't want to reveal how many weddings we will see. If it if it's one, if it's two, if it's more than that. She didn't want to want to reveal that because that apparently is going to happen in the first hour of the uh, series finale. So she didn't want to spoil that, which is great. I think that we don't need to know that until it happens. Then when she was asked what's the most shot 
what couple will have the most shocking reveal? She said Emsyn, and I'm guessing this will tie it up with two things, with the fact that they are going to have twins. I think they're, they are going to have uh, baby girls, like girls, twin girls, yeah. And also tied up with uh, the fact that we will know who the father is. For me, the father of Alice, Allison's baby could be Noel. Have, an, have a, like, a thing, I, I think it's possible that it could be Noel. Or it could be Ren. When Merlin was asked again who is the character who changed it the most after the one-time jump, that they're going to do on the series finale, she said Toby, and she answered really straightforward. But when they asked uh, what the, the possibilities of Toby being AD, she said that she loves Keegan very much, and the chances for him to be uh, AD are really slim, since she does really care about the actor, and she I don't think she wanted to do that to him. So, whatever that means, I don't know. There was a question about whether, because we, when we find out that Charlo was killed, uh, it made it look like suicide, somebody pushed her, and we didn't saw Mona pushing Charlo. So people said, okay, maybe Mona got away and someone actually pushed her. But Merlin confirmed that it was Mona, the one who pushed and made it look like a suicide. On the scene that we see Spencer and Mary fighting, a lot of people said that that maybe is Spencer's twin. And what is her name? Merlin said that that is really Spencer. When she was asked about the uh, Ren shooting image that we saw on the promo, she says that when they, she was asked, is there going to be a murder? Marlene answered, there's going to be a shooting. And since Ian Harding is the one who needed uh, a stunt double for the finale, I'm guessing that maybe Ezra is the one who gets shot. Now there's another thing that kind of threw me off uh, with this whole interview, is the fact that she said that there might be a mask or two, those realistic masks that they were using uh, back in season 6, I think 6B and 7A, um, those masks that were really realistic and really stupid and pointless because they were also homemade, so I don't know how the fuck uh, AD made them, but the thing is that they, there are, there's a mask or maybe two masks in the finale, so meaning that it's possible that one of our pretty little liars could have had a person pretending to be her or maybe one of the guys pretending to be him using this realistic mask which also are really realistic masks and if the this person have had some sort of interaction with someone they also have been able to change their voices because that's normal you know um, and they could have been playing someone else. So this could tie it up with the whole Spencer has a twin theory. Maybe it wasn't a twin. Maybe it is um, a Spencer mask. Someone else is using it. And maybe even Melissa could be the one using the mask and pretending to be Spencer. So, am I happy about this? No. Because I think this is just lazy writing and this is just a way out you know, of this situation. I think that this pretty look, pretty realistic looking mask are really dumb. I don't, I didn't like it because that opens up so many possibilities. Like, maybe Allison wasn't Allison when she was saying that she was pregnant. Maybe Arya wasn't Arya when she was, I don't know, talking to Rollins, you know? It's not a double personality disorder, but rather someone just with the mask pretending to be Arya, or Spencer, or Emily, or Hannah. Like, the possibilities are endless with the fact that these masks, masks are way too real to be true, you know? So I'm kind of upset about that, and if I want to believe who is the person or persons using the mask, I will guess it's Melissa and Ren trying to play it off who? Spencer and someone else, maybe Ezra? Maybe Archer? We don't know. We don't know. Maybe Melissa will take off a mask and she's not actually Melissa and she's Cece or Charlotte. 
and it's going to be so stupid because I don't I think it's bad, bad writing I think it's just trying to fix the mistakes because they created so many questions that they didn't had answers for like they didn't plan anything ahead so now they are going to say oh yeah that person that you might have thought seen there it was actually someone else with a realistic mask which is bullshit also Merlin said that she has read one theory on the internet that is the correct theory she got scared but she has also seen a lot of other theories about AD so she's comfortable with the fact that just one person has figured out the entire thing who could it be? I don't know. We will guess and we will see after the series finale is over. When she was asked whether Paige was going to be part of the finale, if she is in the series finale, Marlene chose not to answer that question. Uh, so that means that she could be in the finale, that she could be working with AD, or Marlene is just... A, and this is a question that I... this is the answer I think it is the correct one. I think Marlene was just lying because she was like giving so many spoilers. This is for some reason she wanted to control the information she got out. So she said, yeah, maybe Paige could be in the finale, which I don't think so because the reaction Sasha got when she said that made me think that that was a lie. That's just me though. We know that the moms are back. I'm guessing that we will see Pam Fields, Veronica Hastings, and Ashley Marin. Of course, we're not gonna see... Uh, oh, and Ella Montgomery as well. Uh, I don't think... We, of course, we're not gonna see Jessica De Laurentiis. Even if maybe we see a flashback, we could have Jessica De Laurentiis, but she's dead. That's what we know. There's a fun thing that they're gonna talk about is the fact that how the moms got out of the basement, which is a question that it could be left like that. It could be like, oh, they actually were able to open the door by themselves like that's not an important question and Marlene said that it's not gonna be shown because th that will be stupid uh, but it's going to be hinted at what happened that day which is a nice easter egg Duh, like nobody cares about that like nobody really cares about that it's just a joke you know we're also gonna find out the why and how AD became AD I think the why is really clear. It's tied up with CC. They wanted to know who killed CC and get revenge. And how they became AD. I think they pick up everything that belonged to Charlotte and they started up. So two more things before I end this video. Uh, Sasha find out who AD was before they gave them the final script. Uh, she was asking the right person and the right thing to the writers and to the person who's going to play AD before the finale. So this means that it really is either a twin or someone in a mask looking like them. So um, who could it be? Like it has to be someone who at least it's on 719 rather than in the previous episode because I don't think Sasha find out like three, four episodes before that. And before that, like three or four episodes before that, we haven't seen uh, Melissa. Melissa, we, we saw Melissa just in the final, we we're gonna see her in the final episode on this Tuesday. So, and I don't think, you know, uh, Sasha could have been asking that person for that long. So, meaning maybe Melissa's not AD, maybe it's someone else, maybe it is a twin. Maybe it's Spencer's twin, maybe it's just a Spencer with a mask, you know? And it's actually Melissa, but like that revelation will be having at the end of the, of the season. Uh, but the thing is that when Marlene revealed this information to the person who's going to be AD and reveal as AD, this person told Marlene not to tell anyone because she or he didn't want the performance of the other actors to change by knowing that this person was AD. So who could that be? Like, that's pretty much really clear that that person is Trojan. I don't, I don't, like, that whole thing that she said almost at the end of the interview saying that she didn't want to uh, alter the performance it just gives me a, a Trojan vibe so I'm, I'm kind of putting my money on, on Trojan either like Spencer having a twin or the twin or Melissa just 
playing the mask, but of course it's going to be Troy and the one playing the character until it's revealed that it's Melissa, you know? Um, another thing that was said that kind of led me a little bit worried, not gonna be, not, not gonna lie, like this whole interview got me a, a lot more nervous for the finale because I'm really hyped for the finale, but at the same time I'm kind of worried. Uh, and the one thing that Merlin said during the interview, and this is the last th thing I'm going to talk about, is that the show will end in a full circle, you know? And you think of this as in, oh, okay, uh, someone is going to say something that is going to remind us of season one, and it, that's how it's going to end. Maybe one of the most popular quotes, like, it's immortality, my darlings, that is the line that Sasha has said multiple times. I think Spencer has, has said that as well. Um, or maybe it is, I don't know. I'm still here, bitches, and I know everything, you know, and it ends like that. But Marlene said that even if the show is ending, the world and the mythology of the town, it's still on play, like, it will continue on forever. So, the only idea that I got from this is that the final scene is going to be maybe the five liars seeing another group of, of girls getting a text, you know, maybe they are not longer involved, but someone else will play the game, but they're gonna, th like, start threatening some other group of people. Maybe even Addison will go missing at the end of the series finale, and that's going to be the mystery on Rosewood once again, but it will have nothing to do with the Pretty Little Liars. And that's the way that it will end in a full circle. You know, they ended up, they find out who Original A, Big A, and Uber A was. They, that story ends with our Pretty Little Liars, and somehow is going to continue with another group of another friends doing and having similar experiences as the Pretty Little Liars. Will I like that? I don't know. Unless they don't end it with a cliffhanger, because I'm gonna sue Merlin King if she ends it with a cliffhanger, but will you guys, what do you guys think about that? Because Marlene did say, did say that, and even if the show ends, the world of PLL continues. The mythology of the town will always go on. So, what are your theories about that? Do you agree with what I just said? Are you happy about the finale? Are you excited? Do you have questions? What questions you want to be answered? Let me know all that in the comment section down below. Also, let's talk about all the things that I just pointed out here in this video. I hope that this video is not all over the place and that you guys are able to understand everything that I just said. Um, because I, I, I'm really excited for the finale, but I also want to talk. I want to know what you guys think getting ahead of the series finale of this amazing show, the show that has captivated us even if we didn't want to for seven years. So let me know that. Uh, are you happy about the fact that this AD has nothing to do with the previous two A's and it's an entity on their own? Are you happy with that ending? Are you not happy? Did you want a connection between season seven and season one? What is all your thoughts, all of that on the comment section down below. Also, thumbs up this video if you love Pretty Little Liars and if you want more videos for Pretty Little Liars that I can make during this time until we get to the finale. I'm also going to be doing a live chat tomorrow, if I'm not wrong. I will let you guys know at what time on my Twitter, so make sure to follow me on Twitter. And I think that's about it. Thank you so much, guys. I will see you next time for another reaction and talk and all that for Pretty Little Liars. Mwah. Bye guys!